An annual event hosted by Google is all about defying gravity. Saturday, May 10th, nine high schools from eastern Nebraska and western Iowa compete in launching rockets made of lightweight materials. The teamwork takes place at Iowa Western Community College. It begins with three words. Three, two, one. Then... We just didn't know that the rockets would go this high and that fast. <laughs> Nine area high schools traveled to Iowa Western Community College to compete in Google's anti-gravity game Saturday, May 10th. We wanted to find a fun and exciting way to get kids out to not only have some fun, but uh, show their interest in STEM-type fields. Those fields include science, mathematics, and technology. Everything involved in the anti-gravity games. We were pretty confident going into it. We thought that it was going to fly pretty straight. We had a couple little secret things we put on it that we thought would give us an advantage. The students work in teams to figure out how to launch the rockets successfully, taking in factors such as wind. We were kind of observing and, and seeing what we should do to get the best intended result. To get that outcome, the students designed the rockets based on how they wanted to perform. We let the students be as creative as they want with some stipulations. The teams record the flight by attaching two cameras to the rocket. Any recovered video is entered into the best flight video category for a prize. We weren't sure if the camera's going to work or not, so we're kind of waiting to see if that pays off. <laughs> Ours is a little better than that, though. <laughs> it's been pretty successful. We've had a couple crash and burns, but that's to be expected and it's part of the fun. Whether they fail or succeed, students who compete in the anti-gravity games have a great time. It's just really nice that they, can, that they can put this on for everybody and get everybody out here to do this really fun event and compete. The Rockets can fly over a thousand feet in the air. The overall winner of the games is the team whose rocket lands closest to the launch pad. Thomas Jefferson wins the competition this year and receives a $5,000 grant for STEM-related equipment such as microscopes, robotics, and more.